How's it going everyone? Austin Carter here with the Techline Leather. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a fire helmet shield. I hope you all follow along and enjoy the video. Alright, here I am using 8 to 9 ounce leather and marking out my pattern. You'll see me marking out two sides, one for the front and the back, which I will later glue and stitch together. Be sure to use a very sharp knife to cut out the front of the shield uh, as this will aid in pattern placement and sanding later on. One of the ways I design my shields is by using Photoshop. Uh, I find that this helps keep everything aligned and centered for when you transfer onto the leather. Here you see me printing off my template on vellum paper. Uh, you can find vellum paper at Office Depot. And it prints your designs out very neatly for transfer. Uh, you can get about 50 sheets for like 12 to $16. Go ahead and wet your leather and transfer your pattern onto the blank shield. To add some character and dimension to the shield, I like to use this background technique. I think it really helps accentuate the focal points of the shield. You'll see what it looks like a little later. After you're done transferring your design, use your swivel knife to cut out the artwork. And here's the shield all cut out. Before you start tooling, be sure to tape the back of the shield with painter's tape to keep the leather from stretching and also to give your tooling a deeper impression. Make sure you trim the excess tape so that it's not in your way or collecting any debris while you're tooling. After you're finished tooling, it's time to add any names, departments, ranks, or any other font. 
This is a very critical step in the process and I always check, double check, and then triple check spelling and placement of any alphabet stamps. Here you see me using my pattern to assist in the placement of my letters. Again, be sure to take your time during this step. Nothing can ruin or make a shield look more funny than misspelled or wonky stamp placement. You can get alphabet stamps at Tandy Leather, Hobby Lobby, and pretty much any other leather store. For this shield, I'm using a 3 8 alphabet set from Tandy. Here's the shield all tooled and stamped out. For this project, I only used five stamps total. These stamps are very common and easy to find, showing that you don't need a full arsenal to make a shield. The next step in the process is dyeing or painting. For this particular shield, I want it to be all black. However, the options and combinations of dye and paint are endless. After the dye is dried, I go ahead and make my stitch grooves. I center up the groover in between the border of the shield. Before you add tan coat with a dauber, be sure to always burn off the little fuzzies which are notorious for being left behind and sealed onto leather projects. I generally give a good layer of tan coat and then wipe it down with a paper towel so that the streak marks from the dauber don't dry and show. After everything has dried, I get ready to glue. Here I am preparing the front and back of the shields for glue. Be sure to remove the painter's tape prior to gluing. Make sure you get full coverage on both the back sides of the pieces of leather so that there will be a tight bond. After the glue is set for a while, put the two pieces together and ensure a tight bond by tamping down the edges and making sure everything is smooth. After gluing, I move to stitching. I used to hand stitch every shield but I upgraded to a hand stitcher. For this shield, I'll be using size 207 black thread on my Tipman Boss stitcher. Be sure to trim and burn the ends of your thread. Next, I cut off the remaining material of the back of the shield. Again, be sure to use a very sharp knife while you trim. Next, I move over to the sanding drum. If you notice, I've made a small dust collector using a shop vac because leather dust gets everywhere. I also use a mask to keep from inhaling the small particles.
All right, at this point, the shield is 95% done as we move into the finishing steps. Here I'm edging the front and the back with a number two edger. After edging, I moved back to my burnisher and began burnishing and cleaning up the edges. If you want to know more about my sanding and burnishing motor, you can watch the last video I made. I always do some final hand slicking. This is to ensure a very smooth and fine edge as this is where a large amount of moisture can set in. After I finish the edges, I use the aligning holes in my template to mark and punch for the mounting screws. And the last thing I do is give the shield one more layer of tan coat. Again, this is to protect the shield from moisture. And she's done. guys well that's my process of how to make a fire helmet shield I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions at all go ahead and leave a comment um, if you did like this video go ahead and like or subscribe and if you would go check out my Instagram at attack line leather you'll see a whole lot more of my work there and uh, you can ask me any questions on there also thanks for sticking around y'all have a good one